OMG, mounted and loaded. Welcome to this edition of Chunkanoo's Network. Today, we'll be discussing the history and influence behind the map Hereford. The tactical guide describes Hereford as this base in Hereford, England is surrounded by a shooting range and a training ground. It is a normal sized site and the only one in the game with three floors plus a basement containing an armory and a briefing room. The top floor serves for storage and also houses a workshop and a ballistics laboratory. There are numerous destructible walls in the environment so it is relatively easy to breach them and create lines of sight. The concept art of this seems to match the final product pretty closely. You can see the building itself looks a little taller in game than in the concept art, but it's pretty accurate. One thing that is interesting about this image is that there's two variations. One has the British flag flying, and the other has an SAS flag flying, and the logo on the car has also changed. From what I understand, it would be unlikely that the SAS flag would fly without the British one accompanying it. We do see this in game, where they're both together, but it's still odd that there's art with both flags. Their other concept art is once again similar to the in game, as we can see the training area. And the only changes in the game are the layout of the training area itself, and there's no writing on the giant tower. Now, Hereford is a real life training location for the British Army. The name of the map is based off of the city called Hereford, where the training base is located. This is also close to where the 22nd SAS Regiment are based. Now, moving on to why it's in the game Hereford base has been included in the Rainbow Six series from at least Raven Shield. Could have also been included in the earlier games, but I don't have access to those ones to test it out. The previous maps have always varied though, and they don't really look similar to the Siege map. I don't think it's been brought up before, but it's likely that the compound was based on Osama bin Laden's compound in Pakistan. If you have a look at the compound, you can see there are three above ground floors, and the top one has a little balcony exactly the same as the Hereford map. The second balcony could have been replaced with the garage to the side, for balance reasons. And unfortunately, there's no layout of the inside to be able to compare this even further. In the distance, we can see a church and a graveyard. It's likely the church is based off of the Church of St. Mary and St. David, which is a nearby one. Other than this, the rest of the surroundings just seem to be other parts of the base. Before I get into Easter eggs, I'd like to have a little rant about some meaningless stuff on the map, but it still bugs me a little bit. The SUVs in the car park are American SUVs. A British police truck would look like this, even though this is an army base, so it would probably look more like this, unless the police were there because there was some sort of incident. The other thing is that the armour is spelt wrong. I can understand spelling in the American way on the HUD, the majority of the game is spelt in American English. But this is a part of the English map. Please don't break my heart like this Ubisoft. The last thing is the school bus outside. The British don't use school buses like this. Ours are a generic normal bus which take the kids to school then go on their normal routes throughout the rest of the day. Which by the way makes way more sense economically. The bus also has an incorrect spelling of parish on the side of it. As I said these aren't important things at all. They're just things I wanted to moan about because they bug me. Moving on to easter eggs and this map is a little bit light on easter eggs. In the planning room there is a whiteboard that has the main floor laid out as well as a small model of the main floor on the table. This is probably used by the soldiers to plan the raids during training. Outside of the wall, there is a large group of memorial plaques for what I assume is dedicated to fallen soldiers. The names on the plaques aren't anyone real, but instead just different combinations of the phonetic alphabet. Finally, we have this insignia painted on the wall outside. This may look like the SAS logo, but in fact it's different. The sword is a sabre, which you can tell from the handle. Not an Excalibur, which is in the normal insignia. The wings or fire, whichever one you believe it is, are much more squared and detailed than in the normal logo. The official motto of the SAS is Who Dares Wins, whereas this says Strike Fast, Strike Hard. This motto is likely a reference to Karate Kid, but I can't figure out what the Sabre could be a reference to. 
If anyone has any idea, please let me know. If you want to know more about the history of other maps, please make sure to subscribe. If you want to stay up to date on the Siege news, make sure you follow me on Twitter. And if you'd like to discuss the maps, news or anything else, you can join my Discord. If you like these videos, you can also support me on Patreon. All links are in the description. Thank you for watching. And as always, remember... Tachanka will always stand by you.